what's happening? Hi, Vivin. So, yeah. what is this new baby we see here? This is the Raven MTI from Slay Pro Audio. Um, what this does is basically a multi touch, uh, touch uh, controller for Pro Tools 10, 11, and Logic. Um, so, what this basically does is, as you can see, yeah. That's so your just support a screen. angle, yeah. You can tilt it if okay. you like. It's, it's basically this which helps you control Pro Tools or Logic in whichever fashion you would like to work with it. This entire controller that you see here. Have a look. It's very easy. You can just tap and move to your mix window or your edit window. Right? It's that simple. And then you can customize your entire toolbar. Depends on what you're going to do. Depending on how you'd like to work. You can move things around from here. Put things there. You know? Customize your entire toolbar and work around the way you want to work around. So what can it be used for? Uh, for live shows or for at a studio? It's mainly for a studio, but you can use it for live as well. Mainly for, you know, it's it's difficult to sit around and work on a mouse and, you know, not get the whole feel of a fader movement and things like that. So, so much easier when you have this. And so when you can move things like this, right? So okay. it's all multi-touch. I'm touching three faders at the same time, right? I can do that. I can do that. So that's on a group. And very easily, I can even put on a group for you if you want there we go so I just created a group there so you can choose your channels you can choose however you want to choose it and then you can just go pick it up and just get on a group you can open plugins from here all your plugins are here there you go you can control every plugin you, can, you don't even have to come and press that there you can just close right. the plugin here what about the graph that we just saw there you go with these See that? Ah. So you'll have to turn every knob. Right. Right? And the slate plugins are also out, so you can use that as well. So, okay. you can close so you, who do you think should be buying the radio? Every studio should have this, is what basically what, the, what we want to do, you know? Because it's so much easier to use Pro Tools when you have all the functions you want to use right next to you and not have to reach out for many things. You bring them to you and you use. That's that's what the Raven is. Thank you. So the Apollo Twin basically comes in two different models. One is a solo core version and one is the duo core version. Basically what that does is it's got a solo core processor built in for your UAD plugins, right? So this is not just a sound card, this is also a sound card and a processor built in for your plugins, right? So you might ask me how many inputs and outputs the sound card has. This has two in with top of the line Apollo preamps. It's the same preamp that you have on your regular Apollo which you have on the Twin as well. Two mic pre's and six outputs. If you look at the back, right? You got your optical, you got your monitors, and you got your line outs. This is a Thunderbolt interface, as you can see here. So you will require to use this only on a Thunderbolt machine. card, yeah, machine, right? So um, it's the exact same converters, the exact same freeze, and the exact same processing as an Apollo. It's just a condensed version of it. That's the Apollo. Tool. Uh, the, so another one of our killing products here is the Focusrite 18i20 with as you know 18 inputs and 20 outputs. Perfect for a studio which is uh, wanting to record a drum kit live or multiple inputs live, you know. So as you can see here, you've got 8 mic pre's here in front even though it's an 18 input. You've got 8 mic pre's here. you got 20 outputs at the back, right, with 8 at and uh, analog. It's got a watch clock in it as well with MIDI. You can connect your MIDI interfaces to this as well, right? And Works that's on external power. Yes, it requires external power as well. Does the adapter come with the? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. So all you need, it comes with a USB cable as well. Just plug and play, download your driver, and you're good to go. It's a very easy product to use and uh, top of the line focus like PMs. Very well priced. Also. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, so my name is Tuvan Mehta, and um, I want to show you guys the uh, crane stand. I've been using this stand for a while and it's uh, pretty much my workhorse in the DJ booth. Um, I use it for like a effects controller, I use it for a laptop uh, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, very rugged, folds up really nice and uh, it's my go-to stand so um, definitely check it out. It's got a range of colors too. They even have one which is uh, neon green, my personal favorite. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So we got uh, a 
another killer product here. It's the Coswell PC3K workstation from Coswell, as you can see in the back. It's an 88 key graded hammer workstation, killer for pianos. With a, with, you would have never seen this thing on any other keyboard. This is a ribbon controller which is only on the Coswell right now. It comes with the keyboard. It, it's an accessory which you can buy, right? But it's for the keyboard, right? So it just connects via this cable here to the ribbon controller, right? In fact, you also have a breath controller on this, right? Where you can you can blow into if you have a wind instrument. If you want to play a wind instrument, you have a breath uh, controller device. You just plug it into wind, and um, you can blow into it and play. It's got crazy sounds. Um, the most important feature that I should mention about this is um, is the number of patches you can you can layer at each time. Most of the other keyboards can do about 16 to 32 layers at one go, but this can do a 512 layers per patch, and across any across the entire section. So you can have about 20 tones here, 20 tones here, 40 tones there, and no problem. That's one of the most you know that's the giveaways of this keyboard. Great. So yeah, that's that's the cool. Stage 2, handmade in Sweden, all Nord keyboards are made there, um, otherwise also known as the red keyboards from Nord, right? So this is a stage piano, this is the HA88, you can have a look at the, this, the, the display here. As you can see, you have an organ section here, a piano section, a synth section and your effects section. So these are the different patches that you have on this keyboard, right? So it's got crazy sounds. Very well sampled, and uh, some of the best sounds in the industry come from the red keyboard. So that's the note for you. It's a stage piano. Come check it out, and then. Sorry.